Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a reading vlog in which I will be reading strange short books since it is the end of October. I've already finished the first book in this video, but I forgot to film an intro, so here I am doing it right now. The first book I have read is You've Lost a Lot of Blood by Eric LaRocca. This book is quite confusing, which is expected from the author since I've read the first book he came out with and it was so confusing. But this one is even more confusing because uh, following three types of uh, content, so we have poems, we have a book in a book, we have a video game, and then we have the uh, phone recordings. I mean, I cannot say much about this book since it is quite short, but what I'm going to say is that it's definitely creepy and disturbing and it makes you feel uncomfortable, which I think is the intent of the author. The main character in the book is writing this book. So we're following a game developer who moves to this house, this strange house, with her young brother so that she can work on this game called You've Lost a Lot of Blood. I know there's a lot of references to You've Lost a Lot of Blood. She's quite a fan of the creator of these types of games and he's sick. He's not talking or doing anything, he's just in a vegetable state. So she has to work on the app on her own, and then strange things start happening. And the ending is quite out there, but I highly recommend it. I gave it four out of five stars. The next book I'm going to read is Sour Candy, which I'm going to start right now, which is also a very short book. I think that my ebook has only 65 pages, so I think I'm going to finish it tonight. Uh, I might update you tonight and I see them. Just finished work and decided I should update you right now before I start studying. So I finished Sour Candy by Keelan Patrick Burke uh, yesterday, but I could not update you about it because I was so busy. So this is a very short book, it's only 65 pages, so you can read it once you think. I did not, but you can. Uh, it was unput down a book. Uh, I thought about reading you the blurb of this book uh, because it's so short that everything I say about it is. A spoiler, but the blurb on Goodreads basically spoils the entire book, so I thought I should just explain to you in my own words. This book starts off with Phil, who's my, our main character. He's on the phone with, with his girlfriend while on the store, and in there he witnesses a woman and a child. The child is causing a lot of problems, he's screaming, he's, everyone is watching him. The mother looks so tired and drained and exhausted. And then he gets on his car to go back to his home while he's on the phone, still on the phone with his girlfriend, recounting the events that happened that day. He gets into a car accident and the person who hit him is the mother from the store. And then things start getting weirder and weirder. Now, I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. It's the best book I've ever, I mean, the best horror book I've ever read. So I think I'm gonna mention a few spoilers. So if you don't wanna be spoiled, skip ahead or just mute me. When I was reading this book, which is yesterday and the day before, I felt like my life was becoming this book. Uh, I know this sounds strange, but in this book, uh, the main character gets into an accident. I almost got into an accident. And he basically tries calling the people in his life, and none of them are picking up. And they basically don't exist, either don't exist anymore, or they've fallen apart a long time ago, even though he remembers only speaking to them like a few hours ago. And I kept calling some people, no one was picking up. I was joking that I will soon find a child in my house. And he will tell me, I live here, mommy. If this doesn't convince you to pick up this book, I don't know what will. Definitely pick it up. It's quite short, so you not regret it. Also, I just noticed that both Sour Candy and You've Lost a Lot of Blood are both self-published. So that's a plus. 